was saying, the way she was a part of these franchises, she was in Fast and Furious, she'd been all in the Fast and Furious movies, and then she did a short-lived television show called Dallas. It was supposed to be a continuation of the original Dallas from the 1980s. And she just pulls off this role with class and delicacy. I mean, yeah. And I'm pretty sure she's back in the Fast and Furious and she's back in the spotlight where she gets to be what her character was in the first movie. So I'm impressed that she's lasted for a long time and she still can pull off the serious dramatic acting. Coming in at number three is Ariel Dawson. Another one of my favorite crushes. She's Puerto Rican descent. And you know why she's on this list, because I find her physically, sexually attractive. She was in Sin City, that's one movie franchise. She voiced an animated Wonder Woman. And now she's been picked by Star Wars to play Ahsoka Katana, one of Star Wars fans' beloved female badass characters from the Star Wars Clone Wars cartoon series. And she's going to be doing live action. What I like about Ariel Dawson is that no matter how old she gets, she gets better with age. She stays in shape. She can play any character, series dramatic. And this is going to be by far one of her best roles. And I can't wait for Disney Plus to show me Ahsoka Katana on live action. Not just a Star Wars cartoon, but a live version of the character. And she did pretty good in Sin City 1 and 2. Like, I forgot it was her in the movie. Like, I thought she was a completely different person. So, she's got talent. You know, she can play any character, no matter what the genre is. You know, western, comedy, horror, sci-fi, suspense, thriller. She can do it. Coming in at number... Coming in at number two is going to be China. Now, China... China... You gotta put China on the list. This list would not be complete without sexy mamacita, sexy Latinas. So China and Ronda Rousey are both gonna be tied for number two. I know Ronda Rousey probably might get a little upset, but come on. You gotta show some respect to China. If it wasn't for China, where would sexy Latina women be in school?